Hello, primary one. This is our math department, and we are in primary one. Let we completed our sessions. Our um, session today is we will talk about uh, time, timing or time or uh, time clock. What the meaning of time clock um, related to the time? What is time clock? Time clock means um, it's a very important part in our life because if you have a meeting or you want to wake up or you want to study, you want to work, all of our, all our life is has a link with the time. You will said I'm um, wake up at Six, for example, I'm going to school at eight o'clock. I finish my school at one o'clock. I start my first lesson at eight o'clock. Maybe it's uh, you are in at home and you ask your mom at what time we will eat. Your mom will tell you we will eat at three o'clock, for example. Let we uh, have our session step by step to know all about the time. Which device showing us the time? For sure, the watch. The watch or the clock. There is, there are two kind of watch: a digital clock and a analog clock. The digital clock looks like this. So the face of this clock has a digital inside. Digit. So it's a digital clock. It's written like this. You will see your watch. If you have a digital watch, you will see the face of the watch point to or showing 12. 12 written in digit. So it's a digital clock clock. Here, how can I write in a digital format? It's 12 o'clock. The left hand showing hour. Hour is by your left side and minute by your right side. Here. Hour, your left side, and here, merit your right side. How can I tell the time? It's fixed time, so it's 12 o'clock. 12 means in the part of hour, you will find 12. And in the part of minutes, you will find 0, 0. So it's a fixed time. In primary one, you will study all the fixed time. So, you have to know where the place of the minutes. So, minutes is in front of your right side. And the hour man, our place is by your left side. One clock it's a digital clock and it's showing what, what is the time on it, it's 10 o'clock. So I write 10 o'clock in digit, I write 10 and two point to separate the hour and minute. And here's our side and here is minute side. And I tell time by set it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. How can I tell the time? The first clock, it's 12 o'clock. And the second figure, it's 10 o'clock. So this is a digital clock. The other kind of watch or clock, it's an analog clock. 
It's the analog clock. Look, this is the figure of analog clock. The analog clock has a face. Inside this face, there are 12 dash showing the hours. Showing the hours. So, the analog clock. What's the meaning of analog? The clock hand. Clock hand. هي بالعربي يا ولاد اسمها عقارب الساعة The analog clock The clock analog has two at least two analog one point to the hour which is the short one and one point to the minute which is the long analog so the short analog or the short hand point toward the hour to tell us the hours and we call it our hand our hand and the long analog or the long hand point to our the minute we call it the minute hand In the middle, there is one dot to keep the two analog together. A pointer hand. Now we know that we have inside the analog clock two analog or two pointer hands. The short hand point toward the hour and the long hand point toward the minute. Be careful. When the hour hand is pointed toward three, so the short hand or the short analog point to the digit three. And the minute hand is point to a word 12. That means it's a fixed time. It's exactly 3 o'clock. The short hand completed two full span every day. So, here, if you look to the clock face, you will find 12 dash. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Again, how many dash? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, so there are 12 dash inside the clock face. I write 12, 1, 2, 3, till I reach 12. So, one day equal how many hours? One day equal 24 hours. So, this small analog or the hour hand must span two time. If the clock hand the short one, which is pointed to hours, must span or make around two times daily, two full span every day, to complete 24 hours because one day equals 24 hours. This 24 hours is divided into two parts, AM and BM. AM showing morning and BM related to evening and night. Let me know how can I draw an analog clock. First, I will make a circle and inside this circle, I must put 
12. One up and one down. One right and one left. And between of them, two dash. So here I must put 12 up and six down. And by my right is three and by my left is nine. And then between nine and 12, two dash. Between 12 and three, again, two dash. Between three and six, again, two dash. And between six and nine, be I must try uh, draw two dash. And I complete the dashes. So this is a complete face analog clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To complete one day, I must make two full span. Two full span. Twelve a.m. and twelve b.m. Here in primary one, we will learn the fixed time with no minutes. So our curriculum, this. Here in primary one, you, you have to know the fixed time. So I look always and always to the short hand, the short analog, because the short analog point to the hour. Here I look to the face time, face, uh, yes, face watch. I note that the short analog, which is I draw it with the orange color, Point two one. So the hour is showing one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Be careful, primary one. When I write time, I must put this two dot above each other to separate our end mat. Again, how can I tell this time? It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Here, the short orange analog point to six, so it's six o'clock. How can I tell the time? It's six o'clock. Then, here, the short one point to digit three, so it's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. Here, the short analog point to eight, so it's eight o'clock. I write eight at hour and zero in minute because the long analog showing to or point to twelve. It's a fixed time with no minutes. It's eight o'clock. Then here, what is the short one? Is under the long one. So it's a twelve o'clock. Why Mr. Nervino tell 12? Because the short hand, the orange one, is hidden under the 12. So I have 12 in hour and the long hand point to 12. So I have no minute. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. Here. Huh? Okay. It's 2 o'clock. Very good. The short analog point to 2 and the long point to 12. So I have no minutes and it's 2 in our place it's 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. Here it's 7 o'clock. Very good. It's 7 o'clock. And here it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Very good. Again, the shorthand point to nine, so it's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Very good. Here it's what is the shorthand point to five? So and the long hand point to twelve. So I have no minutes, zero zero in minute, and five in hour, so it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. Here it's eleven o'clock. It's eleven o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. Here, quickly, 
I know it's, what is the shorthand to know what is the time now. It's 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock. Very good. Here we have a common time uh, because we are in the same school. So we make this issue together and this act. We will all start school at 8 o'clock. If I'm talking about myself, I will tell I start school at 8 o'clock. And I finish school at 1 o'clock. And I wake up in the morning at 7 o'clock. And I go to bed at 9 o'clock. Very good. I wake up in morning at 7 o'clock. I give my, uh, myself space to uh, dress up and be ready for my school and I'm going to school and start my school at 8 o'clock. I finish my school at 1 o'clock. I go to bed at 9 o'clock. Be careful primary one. Before I told you before the day I tell on. On Thursday, on Wednesday, on Friday, and before the month, I'm telling you that we use in, in October, in April, in May. What about time? When I'm talking about the time, I use the word at. So, I wake up in the morning at 7 o'clock. I start school at 8 o'clock. I finish school at 1 o'clock. So the word at is according to the time. Now I finish my session, pause the video, write and try to solve it by yourself and check your answer and 